Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on how to drop medications from an ampule. So an ampule rarely happens anymore, but certain medications come in a glass vial and that is because the medication is not compatible with any kind of plastic tubing or vial. So it looks a little bit different and it's made out of glass, so there's a few extra safety precautions we have to take. So of course you're always going to calculate the dosage, you're going to do your hand hygiene and use aseptic technique when administering any kind of medication. So I'm going to put on my gloves and because this vial is made out of glass, when I open it, I need to break it. And so there is always a chance that either I get cut or that small fragments of glass get inside the vial and I certainly don't want to draw that up and then administer it directly into my patient's vein. So what I have is a couple of nifty tools which is this device that helps me to break the cap and not cut myself and then this special needle that's here um, and it says the size of the needle an 18 gauge and then it says with a filter and these special filter needles or filter straws make sure that in case a glass fragment gets into the vial after you break it that it gets filtered out by the needle and not drawn up into the syringe. The other thing to be careful with ampules, as you can see, there has a little bit of fluid has accumulated on the top here. So I can either gently tap it or I can just shake it or tap it on the bottom, which will usually make that liquid go back down. And there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to use my nifty adapter to break that off. If you don't have that easily available, what you can do is use an alcohol wipe and open it up carefully just on one side, take out the alcohol and the wrapper of the alcohol wipe is pretty sturdy and thick. So you can use that, insert the cap in there and then break it from there. But the safer way is always to use the special device. So I make sure that I don't have any liquid that's got to the top there now. Okay, I put it in here and I just break it off. That wasn't very safe because now the glass is on the floor, so I need to make sure that I go ahead and take care of that when I'm done. But now the top of the glass vial has broken off. Very interesting phenomenon is I can turn it upside down and nothing is going to drip out because of the surface tension. So keep that in mind. However, once I put a needle in there, it might drip out. So I'm going to use the filter straw and hook it up to my syringe. And then this is, in this case, is a really big 18 gauge needle. So I want to make sure I take safety precaution. And usually in a vial, we insert air first. I don't want to insert any air in this because I don't have that rubber stopper that keeps the vial pressurized. So I can just insert the needle and then draw it up. In this case, I can either do it upside down or I can still turn it around. I just have to, and again, the liquid will stay in there with the surface tension. And then I just have to carefully withdraw all of the fluid. Or whatever the dosage is that I need to administer. Then of course I get rid of any air bubbles by gently tapping the syringe or not so gently if they're stubborn. <laughs> there it goes. And then I push the air out to whatever desired dosage I have. So in this case, we'll say I need two mLs. And then I can either carefully again recap this one handed method so that I don't advertently poke myself and then use my hand to secure it. But I cannot administer the medication with the filter straw because the, some glass fragments might be in there. So then at some point, if this is an IV medication, I would just go to the patient, take this off after cleaning the port 
and administering to the patient or if this is an IM medication I would just change the needle to whatever appropriate size needle that I need. So ampules are quite fascinating. They can be a little bit scary. Just make sure you, that you stay safe with the glass fragments and not cut yourself by using the special tools and the filter straw. And then remember, don't be afraid because the surface tension is going to keep the fluid in the ampule. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained. Also check out the other videos in my medication administration playlist. See you soon. Thanks for watching.